after a long period of consolidation, the Quant token is up over 30% on the month and appears like it may be on the verge of a much bigger breakout to the upside. Now, this comes at a time where some very interesting connections have come up between Quant and MasterCard, as well as some of the biggest central banks and tech companies in the world all of which we will break down in today's episode of the Everything Crypto Show. Now, before we hop into the content, just a friendly reminder that I am not a financial advisor, nor do I offer any sort of financial advice on YouTube. I am simply here for your crypto news and entertainment purposes. And if you do find the videos informative and or entertaining, please consider hitting that sub and like button, and I do appreciate all of the support on the channel. So we're going to get right into today's altcoin of discussion, and that's going to be Quant. And we actually did an update on this coin a couple of days ago, where I did say I believed a big move was set for this altcoin. And uh, yeah, so far we actually have had a pretty nice move up here, about 17% over the past week, and up about 35% over the past month. Now, if we take a look from a technical perspective, which we will get into, uh, you know, kind of in, in the sense, and that could turn into a much bigger move for this altcoin, which does tend to go on, you know, the, basically these parabolic rallies in very brief periods of time, and then consolidate, then another big rally, then consolidation, and we have been consolidating here for quite a while. A lot of people have began to get impatient with this token. And uh, that's why I do believe that this coin is about to see yet another very big move to the upside that will catch people off guard. But first, I do want to kind of break down these connections between Quant, MasterCard, and Nexi Group, which is the largest payment provider for digital payments in Europe, and then break down how exactly Quant, I believe, plays a role in this. So here's an article which says Nexi Group, who is partnered up with Quant, has announced a partnership with MasterCard to advance open banking payments across Europe. So unlike traditional payment options, open banking allows anyone with a bank account to make a near instant digital payment into a merchant's account. So through this partnership, MasterCard open banking will facilitate e-commerce payments across Nexi's gateways throughout Europe. Now, Quant Network is responsible for facilitating all of Nexi's digital asset interoperability using its API gateways. As the world moves closer to a fully tokenized economy, Quant ingrains itself further as the primary infrastructure for cross-network and cross-chain liquidity. Nexi is Europe's leading pay tech, doing $3.3 billion in revenue in 2023. And it is also worth noting that Quant already has strong ties to MasterCard, including CEO Gilbert Verdian winning CISO of the year when he worked at Vocalink, which is effectively a MasterCard company. So let me actually get uh, let me get the Nexi website up for you guys to take a look at. And uh, shout out to Greg Lunt for that Twitter thread. Uh, so Nexi Group here, okay, we can see that this is the number one digital payment provider in acquiring for number of merchants served, for overall transaction val value handled, and in issuing for number of payment cards managed. So they got 2.2 million merchants, 170 million cards working with the top 1,000 financial institutions or some of them, and they have 65% of European consumption, which I assume is for digital payments specifically. So we saw this tweet from Gilbert Verdian basically announcing their work on Project Rosalind, a project designing and implementing a CBDC API and platform and testing use cases for CBDCs with financial services participants. Uh, the project has produced tangible real world examples that tested how CBDCs could support a more digitalized economy in the future, working with participants like Bank of Canada, Barclays, MasterCard, and Amazon all of who built and tested new CBDC payment flows on the platform. So there you have it. He basically confirmed off the bat that MasterCard has built and tested digital currency payment flows on their platform. And same thing with Nexi Group. So the fact that MasterCard and Nexi are now working together on this digital payments uh, platform does not surprise me whatsoever. And, you know, I do think that Quant has a role to play in this. Nothing has been confirmed yet, but the fact that both of these, these uh, companies have been confirmed to be using Quant for digital payments and testing different use cases does lead me to believe that they are playing a role in what is happening here with this partnership. 
Now, as for Quant and Nexi Group, so it's worth noting that Nexi actually merged with Sia. I don't know when this merger happened, but prior to this merger actually taking place, Quant had already partnered up with Sia and successfully tested blockchain interoperability. So by integrating Quant Network's overledger technology into the Sia chain private blockchain infrastructure, they enabled cross-platform applications and services in Europe and globally. And the breakthrough was achieved by integrating Quant Network's Overledger technology, the world's DLT operating system that allows interoperability. It says the only DLT. I know there are others out there, uh, but Quant does appear to have a big first mover advantage with the amount of connections and collaborations they've had, you know, with central banks, tech companies. So basically, they integrated their DLT, their Quant Overledger, into the Sia Chain private blockchain infrastructure, leveraging on 580. European network nodes. So this integration provides the ability to bridge permissioned blockchain instances between Sia Chain and other external networks, which could not be previously connected in order to have cross-platform applications and services covering, for example, notarization, payments, and for KYC. Quant Network and Sia will now work together to go to the market, developing and implementing further innovative use cases and applications addressing blockchain interoperability challenges. This important milestone is the result of a partnership launched between Quant Network and Sia that allows mostly banks and financial institutions through the Sia chain infrastructure to adopt cross-platform and interoperable blockchain solutions and to embrace new business models, improve operational efficiency efficiencies and deliver innovation to banking customers. And here we actually have both uh, Gilbert Verdian, the Quant CEO, as well as Daniele Savare, who did work at SIA, basically discussing how this is going to be very important for financial institutions, actually allowing them to connect these private and public blockchains. And if we go take a look at their partners here, you can see right down here that, uh, sorry, let me just zoom out. And yeah, you can see right there that Nexi is in fact partnered up with Quant as a platform provider and distribution partner as well. Now, here is the Quant CEO's LinkedIn account, and this LinkedIn account is stacked, okay? We have some connections to the Federal Reserve, the HM Treasury, HSBC, Ministry of Justice UK, and here we have a Vocalink, a MasterCard company where he did uh, he did actually work for two years. Now, I do also want to cover the MasterCard a multi-token network, which we did cover a while back. And basically, you know, we spoke about this in a previous video as well. Before this connection actually came up between Quant and Nexi, we did actually see a Quant and MasterCard collaboration that I said could cause trillions to flow through the Quant overledger if this is in fact the case. So Quant CEO confirmed that MasterCard successfully tested payment flows on the Quant overledger, allowing for tokenization and interoperability between chains. And MasterCard recently announced their multi-token network, which is making transactions more secure, scalable, and interoperable. I wonder what DLT they are using to facilitate their MLN payment flows. So, you know, we saw the confirmation that uh, MasterCard did test CBDC payment flows on the platform. Then we saw here that MasterCard announced their multi-token network, which is focusing on making transactions secure, scalable, and interoperable. So once again, I highly suspect that Quant does have a role to play in this. We don't have any proof at the moment, but you know, this is this is how it is, right? We also didn't have proof that Quant was working with the Bank of England earlier, but we had already speculated that was going on. And then we did get that confirmation here through Project Rosalind. A lot of this is connecting dots behind the scenes, but I just think that Quant is in way too many important projects and collaborating with way too many tech companies and payment companies and central banks for for all of this to be a coincidence and uh, you know to just say that Quant has no role in this whatsoever I do think is unlikely especially considering the previous confirmation we have had so what does this mean for the Quant token well Quant is a utility token used as a form of payment for Quant network services most notably as a way for users to pay their fees for Overledger users to pay their fees effectively meaning that greater adoption of Overledger equals more demand for the Quant token. So huge total addressable market for governments and financial institutions. 
plus a 14.88 mil total supply leads me to believe we will see a supply shock for quant in the future. And here is a bit of an infographic. Uh, just kind of breaking down the different utility uh, options and the use cases for the quant token. This is not directly from the quant team. This was something that somebody made. But you can see here that the quant token is used for enterprise licenses, developer licenses, platform fees, identity and account, and transaction processing. So quant tokens are used to validate, sign, and encrypt every transaction that flows through Overledger. Similarly to how Ethereum is the gas token for the ETH Layer 1, you know, AVAX for the Avalanche chain, and and the list goes on. So now to wrap things up, I do want to take a look at the quant token here as well. We have been looking at this chart for quite a while now, okay? I do believe that after a long period of consolidation, that once quant actually does break out of this 150 zone, that the FOMO here will be strong, that people who have been complacent, who have either sold their bags or have been sitting on the sidelines, you know, waiting for this thing to break out, will eventually take a look at this when we break out above 150 once again. And if we take a look at 150, I mean, important area of support as quant was on its way to all time highs back in 2021, acted as some big resistance here in the bear market, acted as resistance once again at the beginning of 2023, resistance at the end of 2023. So you can see here just based on how much resistance has been at this level that once we do actually break out, I do think that we are set for a very big move to the upside for this token. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about the quant token i hope you all enjoyed the content in today's video i hope you are all staying happy safe and healthy and i hope to catch you in the next one peace out for now